Today we're simulating uh, the operation that will be used to process the waste we will be receiving. This is a full walkthrough of the process as we will do it. This is coming in DOT approved uh, uh, containers. All of the waste has already been uh, disinfected and double bagged and then inside of this drum is a shipping liner. that the waste is in. This is sealed with the waste in it. The container's then closed and there's a shipping band that seals it. So the containers are cardboard, so the entire thing can be incinerated. There's no right. residual. The plastic right. causes its own set of pollution. Much more difficult to deal with in cardboard. It's 100% destruction. This is our. This is medical waste. Again, we've processed medical waste just like we're going to be receiving for over 10 years. So the first thing that will happen in the process is our environmental health and safety team will inspect the containers. And that's, that's what we have here. This is our biological safety team inspecting the containers to assure that we have no leaks, no damage, and that the containers are acceptable to be received in our facility. As you can see, they're also spraying down the outside of the containers with a disinfectant. When, that, when this team is through with this process, they will give the uh, waste handling team the go or no-go signal to proceed with removing them from the uh, vehicle. Okay, they have just received the okay. These, these uh, drums weigh approximately 50 pounds each. So the next step in the process is to move it to our material lift. Our entire incineration process uh, is on the second level of this facility. That's to uh, mitigate against the potential, any potential impact we might have from an event similar to Hurricane Ike. So the waste is now going to our material lift. The waste has now been received on the second story of our facility and we will have a three-person team on the second floor to receive the waste as well as another safety observer. The safety observer will make sure there was no, nothing wrong with the transport. Now that the waste has been received upstairs, two handlers will place the drum in the loader for the incinerator. Our computer process control will indicate to them when the, when the equipment is ready to receive, indicated by the green light on the control panel. Sorry. Indicated by the green light on the control panel. That means that all safety is clear and that the process is ready to continue. The uh, supervisor on the ship will then have it, will, will then load the material. As you can see, the material is lifted into the hopper. What's in the hopper, it closes, so we can ensure material is completely in the hopper. Once it's completely in the hopper, a ram pushes the material into the incinerator and the destruction process has begun. This is a two-chambered uh, incineration process. The first chamber operates at a nominal 1500 degrees. The second chamber operates at uh, 1,800 degrees. So the material is now in the primary chamber. 
being destroyed. So these are the two chambers that we described, a primary chamber and a secondary chamber. After the material exits the secondary chamber as a gas, it goes to our, our uh, air pollution control system. Construction is complete of the material at this point. The purpose of the air pollution control system is to remove any remaining carbon or metals that are in the system. That's done by a, uh, cooling the exhaust gas and spraying it and collecting those heavy metals prior to discharge. There's a final carbon filter element. Okay, the, this is the final element to ensure that all the uh, particulate is removed from the exhaust. The computer is calculating the throughput of the machine and we're on hold until uh, the, we are ready for another load. What you have here are indication of all the primary uh, uh, control points of the process. Primary, primary temperature indication of the primary that we talked about. Secondary temperature, combustion temperature that we talked about. So the, fi the final element of our process is our wastewater pretreatment system. The purpose of this system, as we talked about the water washing all of the carbon residue, and residual and, and metals out of the uh, exhaust gases, this system presses all of that residual out of that water, collects it, and that material is pressed into ash cakes, basically. That, is, that material is uh, disposed of along with the ash from the combustion process. The, the, the chemicals that are, that are used in the process are are for uh, all for chemical control. For pH control, we use sulfuric acid and, and a caustic. There's a co coagulant, a metal precipitant, and a polymer. And that's all about pulling the metals and any residual solids out of the uh, exhaust stream. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.